Hey guys, back with another video. This one is going to be an in-depth review of the $2.99 application download called Line Rider iRide. And uh, it's a very, very popular application. I know that a lot of people have bought the application after they saw a couple of videos of me showcasing it. And uh, I do not blame them. I'm not saying that I did it perfectly, but just seeing the game for like two seconds, it made me want to buy it, and that's why I did. Um, I've also played the game on the computer. It was originally a computer game, um, which was a free game on the computer. There's websites where you can play it as a flash game. But sadly on the iPod Touch and iPhone you cannot play it on those websites so you have to pitch in the three bucks to buy it as an application. But it is by far worth every single penny. So let's start this one and I will show you some of Line Rider. Okay, got it right here. Okay. So first what happens when you open up Line Rider is you come into this little loading screen. There's no Winning, losing anything. What Line Rider is is that you build a little course out of lines, obviously, and you have a little guy on a uh, toboggan. His name is Bosch, and Bosch will ride your course as long as gravity takes into effect the right way for you. So first, you just touch the screen, and let me see what I was working on. Okay, I can delete it. And now we have a new fresh course. This is a fresh slate. As you can see, everything in the background is white. First, we're going to go through some of the options. So to do that, click this little Save button up here. And then from there, click this little Tools where it says Options. And then for these options, you have Draw and Pan. You have Invert Menus, Night Ride, Gravity Tilt, and Sound. Night Ride is pretty cool. I'll show you what Night Ride is. It just inverts it, obviously. So now instead of having a white background, we have a black background with white lines. Or I guess, you know what I just lied? It has blue lines. So you just simply just push and there we go, we just did kind of a fun little flip. Alright, so we're going to erase that, go back and turn the night ride off, and now we will be showing you gravity tilt. I hate gravity tilt, it's really annoying I think so. So what gravity tilt is, it's going to draw a normal line, so we're going to start right here, gravity tilt, depending on how I tilt my iPod is where my guy will go, so if I tilt it up, oh I fly up, if I tilt it back, it's, I don't know. It's kind of cool, but it's not traditional line rider at all. It's kind of stupid, I think, actually. But where'd that thing go? Oh no, I lost the course. Anyway, so yeah, that is uh, gravity tilt. I always keep it off because I think it's one of the stupidest options ever. But it's kind of fun to try it once in a while. All right, so we're done with those. Those are the options that you have. What is line rider? How do you play it? So you have a couple different tools for Line Rider. First you have a drawing tool, which is a normal pencil, and this gives you the freedom to draw anything you want. You can do all this fun stuff. But instead of that, you can use the line tool, which will give you a straight line. So you just pull, and it'll give you a straight line, wherever you want it to give you one. Pretty easy, very simple concept. And then say that I'm drawing, okay. So if I don't want all this to be here, you can either push this circular arrow, it's a back arrow, and it'll delete the last part of the drawing that I just made. So I'll go over here and I'll show you that. So if I push this arrow, it'll delete this part. As you can see. So I will show you that with a long line. So here's a line. I just drew it three times. Now if I want to take this last part off, just click the arrow. Ah, click the arrow. And there you go. I'll just take away the little segments that you drew them in order. Alright, but say that I don't want to take away just small segments, I want to take away a very large portion of a line. So here we go, we got just a bunch of just scribbles right there. To do that, there's a little eraser bar right here. And to get the eraser, you just simply just touch over wherever you want to erase. And it'll just erase it all. And there you go, that's the eraser tool. So, so far we have the pencil drawing tool, the line drawing tool, the eraser, the back arrow, and now we're gonna show you a new one. So say I'm just drawing, but that's kinda of far away, I can't make it exactly where I wanna have it. You can either just click this hand, and this hand will be able to drag you anywhere you want on the screen. But, to get a closer view, click the magnifying glass. And just like pictures on the iPod and the iPhone, you will just simply pinch to scroll out, or you can just pull it apart and you will zoom in and you can actually get in very very close okay so that's as close as we can get cool so now we can just walk all the way across and that's our line that we just did but we're gonna get out of that okay so if you guys have seen already you have a bunch of different colors on the line and the pencil tool you have a blue red green and a magnet we're gonna explain those colors to you okay so the blue is just a simple line gravity will take effect 
I'll show you that right here. See, I'm just going. See how I'm going down for farther and steeper. That's how fast my guy will go. Now, if I want to do the red tool. I will show you the red tool right here. There's red. Okay. Now, the red tool will do speed. So it's kind of like a conveyor belt pulling you really fast. So here you go. Okay, cool. That's the red tool for you. Very simple. And last but not least, we have the green tool. Green tool can be worthless, but also can be the entire making of the entire course. So, say I'm doing this. Okay. And I really like what I just drew. I really love this line, but it's kind of boring to watch it. So, what you can do is you get the green. And as you guys can see right here, I'm going to draw green right through this. The green does absolutely nothing. It appears as more lines, but honestly, the green is just there for decoration. It doesn't really do anything. It doesn't affect your rider at all. It doesn't affect the course. The green is just there 110% for decorations to make the course look prettier, make it look more fun and interesting to actually go through. Okay, so that's what we have so far. And the last one that we have is a little magnet. Now, say if I have the magnet on, if I draw this line, watch what will happen right here. I'll draw right here, and, oh, my bad. I'll draw, oh, it only works on blue and red, hold on. Okay, so I'm on the magnet right now. Draw right there, and then I draw right there. See how it connected? It'll always try and connect. See how it's connecting right now? It's always connecting. Now, if I turn the magnet off, draw one line, turn the magnet off, and wherever I touch my fingers, where it will go. It won't connect. See how right there, it doesn't connect? So now if I'm going, it won't just be a straight course. It'll actually just bring me down, and then I'll start going backwards. See? Oh, crap. Here, I'll show you a little effect of gravity right here. Hold on. Okay. It's like I was talking about earlier with gravity. Gravity's pulling me down, so I'm going to, of course, go down with the course. But now, I can't get up that hill because I don't have enough speed. So now it's going to bring me backwards. Which brings me into my next step. Okay. So if I'm going straight, let's say that I want to go backwards, or sometimes you want to do like a loop or anything like that, what you do up here for the uh, pencil or for the line tool, you will simply double tap, and it'll be going the exact opposite way that you drew. So if I want to draw, oh wait, that's the wrong way. My bad, guys. Hold on. Okay, now watch. Oh, baloney. Okay, now watch. <laughs> so now instead of pulling me forward, it'll pull me backwards. If you guys figured that at all. If that was a red line, that was a blue line. So I'll show that again. Blue line's gravity, and the red line's going to pull me back that way. Pretty simple. Okay. Let's see what my next tool is. Next tool. Okay, so sometimes these line rider courses can take a very long time to draw and can be a pretty extensive process and you don't want to have to constantly push play to watch the entire thing over again. See that right now? Oh, I'm not even going to make it. Man. Put the red tool up so I'll be able to crawl up there with some speed. Okay, so I don't want to watch this entire thing again. This is going to take too long if I constantly make a really huge course. It's going to take forever. So, if you guys notice this little flag right here between the save disc and the play button, if I push play, anytime during the middle of this, I can push this flag, and it'll leave a little flag mark. If you guys saw that? Okay. So now I'll show you this again. See the flag mark? Anywhere you push it, the flag mark will start. But there's always one. There's only one flag mark. So now, what you can do is, instead of having to watch the entire thing, where you last press the flag mark, that's where you're going to start. If I push play, I'm going to start right where the flag was. Very simple. To cancel the flag, you just click the flag with the X on it, and there you go. You're all done. Okay. Well, that seems to be about it, guys.